source is going on here first of all there's a message i got about a woman that is uh, like a redhead um this could be someone that wears a lot of wigs or maybe has her hair dye um it could be braids locks or something like that this is someone that is extremely manipulative. This is someone that's been invading someone's privacy. Um, it's into dark magic and things like that. She sends like negative energy towards people. This is someone that's been invading someone's privacy. Uh, as far as like accessing someone's phone, their computer, things like that to kind of see what this person is doing. This person stole something from someone. Um, it could have been like an, uh, some type of identification. There's something like that going on. <clears throat> This person could have even gotten their brother involved in this situation. So um, there are some legal issues coming out of this. And I don't know if this woman is aware. There were efforts made to block this woman out of someone's energy. But she's planning some type of um, attack with her friends. For some reason, the people this woman is around are very easy to manipulate. So they can tell her any, she can tell them like any lie and they will believe it. For some reason, she can like tell them do this and they'll do it. It's that she thinks she's some powerful person. But it's not that this woman is powerful. It's just that she's highly manipulative. And the people that she does this with, they are not mentally and emotionally stable enough to understand what she's doing. This is someone that is extremely insecure with themselves, extremely bitter. There was something done, some type of experience this woman has had throughout her life. I think maybe people did the same thing to her. So it's kind of like hurt people, hurt people. Um, so what was done to her is what she's doing to other people. This is someone that like pays for magic, will go to like dark priestesses to in, to look into other people's lives and things like that. But I know there's a full moon coming up. This woman has some type of plan to carry out some type of rituals and has been throwing, uh, like sending psychic attacks to this other feminine energy that she thinks that she's in some type of competition with. The only problem is that the other energy is not even paying this person any mind, is, does not care about any type of competition. This is kind of like a, a dark, this is so annoying to talk about. I'm so sorry, but I have to get it out. This is like a someone that just resides in negativity does not have any type of spiritual gifts or anything like that but it's going up against like a higher fence uh an empress like it's just so weird this is kind of like competing where you don't compare kind of thing but it's like the person you're competing against is not paying you any attention it is so weird and like just annoying the energy like she's the the energy and the like flow i'm getting from this woman is just so annoying like just really agitating and it's because there's something mental going on with this woman where it's that she doesn't i don't know if she doesn't see or she just does not care because this is someone that's like an empty vessel just walking about um and it's just really sad to see someone living in this type of existence where it's like their soul is just gone um, this is someone that has some type of delusional connection to Source, but this is someone that fell from grace like a long time ago. Source is not working with this person, but they are under some type of illusion that they have protection from the universe, but they do not. Um, so you, whoever that this message pertains to, you could be working with this woman. She could be manipulating you as well. This could be your sister, your girlfriend. This is this is someone that's leading you down a dark path. Um, this is someone with red hair, someone that either wears red wigs or dyes her hair, just something like that, something of that nature. This is a black woman that does this. Um, but I'm gonna get out of this energy and do my reading because this woman's energy is just extremely, really, extremely disgusting and just, I can't do it. So let's go ahead and start our reading. We have a King of Cups out here that is in some type of union, some type of uh, collaboration. This person is wanting to have some type of new beginning, right? They want to marry someone and they are seeing the truth about this person. They're seeing you as someone that thinks outside of the box, someone that is very eccentric, um, someone unique, someone spiritual. They know that you have some type of spiritual gifts um this king of cups has a lot of love for you 
um, and they may have expressed this before in the past to someone else around them, maybe like a friend or a family member, but not to you. So you may not have been aware of this person having emotions for you. This person it may be in some type of union that they are not happy in. So they are putting an end to that union and walking away to find maybe like something better for themselves. And it doesn't have to be a relationship that they are finding. This person is just trying to find a higher meaning in life, uh, connect with them with their higher self and their emotions. This could be like a king of cups that's been living in the opposite of themselves, right? So because of the people they've been surrounding themselves with, they haven't they haven't been like acting out of love. Um, so this is someone that has been kind of living a bit of a loose life, being like a womanizer and things like that. There is some type of revelation that was made through this person about you. This is why they are changing their path, the tra trajectory of their life, right? Someone was humbled. This could have been like a king of cups that just did not have a mind of their own or were just really egotistical, very superficial and things like that. They are being humble. There's some type of revelation, truth being shown to them. And this is leading to them walking away from their past. This could be like a relationship they're walking away from, a toxic family dynamic. They're walking away from a group of friends, like an old way of living they're walking away from so that they can find higher and better meaning in life, basically, right? So they're choosing to leave everything behind. They may want to speak their truth to you. This person is taking charge of their life, right? And they want to speak their truth to you to kind of let you know about a betrayal that may have taken place in the past um, by either a manager or someone, some someone that may have stolen something from you, like an opportunity, an idea, some type of creativity, something was stolen from you that this masculine wants to talk to you about. Um, whoever stole this opportunity or whatever it was from you felt entitled to it. Uh, so this is someone that believed that whatever was supposed to be given to you belonged to them or they were a better fit for that thing, but it's not true. This is just someone that feels entitled to good things in life, even though they haven't earned it, um, they haven't worked for it, they feel entitled to it. So this is something this King of Cups wants to talk to you about is let you know about a betrayal that may have taken place. Something may have been stolen from them as well. Something may have been stolen from this King of Cups and it may be like a connection that was stolen from them. It's like a group of people around this King of Cups were aware about a connection that they had with someone else. It's like a spiritual connection, right? So, so it's like you meet your, your soul twin, your twin flame, your soul mate, someone you're supposed to be with. Um, immediately, you two kind of have some type of spark going on. You're very, you two are very easy to talk to. You conversate about things that other people will probably never understand. Um, but the people around you feel threatened by that. They don't want you to, you know, connect with this other person because they are intimidated and jealous because these people are used to you residing in your negative state in a lower vibrational state so they go out of their way to block this connection from coming into being so they manipulate you try to tell you that the person you're interested in is not who you think they are so they do like a smear campaign or something like that right so in the end you end up believing these people and you turn your back on this person you had a very genuine and unique connection with um maybe something happens the person ends up leaving but then the truth starts coming out um and now you are wanting to kind of walk away from these people because of the truth being revealed to you so you can walk a different path in life right um this may have been someone that may have called this other person like weird or just you know uh unlogical just kind of not mentally all the way there like people were probably saying a lot of really mean things about this other person or this King of Cups may have indulged in this behavior as well. Um, but this person is going through some type of change. They're being humble. They're being forced to develop a mind of their own where they're not relying on what people are telling them about the things that they want in life. So this is like someone that relies on the approval of other people so that they can make decisions. And if you live like that, you would never be truly happy in life, right? This person wants to make some type of love offer to this person he is interested in. This is a two of cups situation. So this is a union that is divinely meant to be. This person wants to come together with you and build a family. Um, this person may be leaving some type of toxic family that dynamic behind them. So this person could have already been married, but were, was not happy in the marriage that they were in, right? 
So they may have been like, they've been separated and just kind of coexisting together. And this person is putting an end to that situation. This person knows that you two have a genuine connection. They're hoping that them reaching out to you is going to lead to something, but they are afraid to reach out to you because they don't want you to judge them about something they did or something about them. There's just something going on with that, but there is a change that is taking place that's going to put this person uh, in a better state of mind. There could be some type of competition that's going on here between a king of cups and a king of pentacles um, for a connection with a feminine energy. It could be an empress energy that they are in competition with. This king of cups may not have known that this king of pentacles was going up against them. Um, but this king of cups may also be choosing for some of you to just kind of walk away from the connection because they just know that it's too late or that's just how they feel. Um, they are seeing you as someone extremely independent, someone extremely resourceful, very gifted. Um, like you have everything going on. So this may have been how people view you. You may have some type of abundance coming in as well. You, the uh, Empress, or there's a King of Pentacles in here that may want to maybe give you some type of gift. This person may have received some type of financial payout, some type of abundance as well. Um, and they're moving forward with their life, uh, kind of taking charge of their life and may want to give you something. There could be someone that's overcoming an illness. Someone may be passing away as well. There could have been like a will written out. Um, so there may have been some type of inheritance left for you. Um, so someone is moving forward maybe to give you this uh, news or this is this king of pentacles they receive some type of financial abundance and uh, this is enabling them to move forward they may have been waiting for this abundance or this payout to come in before they could take charge of their life and move on to a new direction and now it's here so this person wants to come in and give to you they're planning on on how to approach you basically um they themselves may have been involved in something that happened as well and this king of cups is aware as well so there was some type of situation going on that you may not be aware of but these two masculines in this group of people are aware of because i'm seeing the five of swords out here it seems like there's a lot of things going on there's a tower going on for quite a few people in here um so this king of pentacles may be wanting to step in and bring balance bring justice into this situation and this person coming towards you and giving whatever this is they want to give to you this financial offer this work opportunity, whatever it is, is going to be your justice at the end of the day. They consider this bringing balance into this situation. This King of Pentacles is showing up as someone that is extremely tempered. This is someone that wants to work with you. This is someone that's looking for equal give and take and things like that. Um, so this is someone that you may have on a contract with as well. Okay, because of the fact that I see the two of cups coming in before the king of pentacles and then followed by the temperance, this could possibly be someone you have a connection with, a contract with, like a soul contract with. Um, so maybe this has been brought to their attention and they're taking action now to come towards you. Um, this person giving to you is going to be something that leads to some type of a new reality being manifested for you, right? You two are going to be working together to nurture some type of business opportunity or something like that. This person may want to invest into you. Um, they've been watching you. Someone is extremely focused on you. So they are aware of you in some way, shape or form. For some of you, these are men that are from your past. And for some of you, these are men that have been watching you. In some way, some of you may have a social platform that they are watching you from. Um, and they want to invest into your dreams, your work, and things like that. Someone knows that you are gifted or you are really talented. You're a great business uh, person, business minded. For some of you, the situation is different for everyone. Um, so they want to come in and give you this little offer, right? Um, plant a seed with you, kind of see how you're going to nurture it. This person wants to work with you in the long run. They want to manifest a new reality with you. So someone is coming from like a broken background to build something new with you. So that would mean that this King of Cups that we started with is walking away from this union. They still want to come in and tell their truth, but they are walking away. 
this could also be this king of pentacles showing up as the king of cups initially but then taking charge of his life and showing up here as the king of pentacles later on uh so it could be either way or okay um so there are the balance the justice card is out here so this is going to enable the both of you to move forward with your life so both of you are leaving some type of toxic cycles behind you to take charge of your life um this king of pentacles could be healing from something right now i'm not sure what it is to be honest with you this could be some type of illness or just some type of mental uh state that he's struggling with um but he's healing and overcoming this this could be like some type of betrayal as well this person is overcoming in order to be able to move forward there is a union in here that is divinely guided something someone a, a union between two people um is very much protected and guided by the universe and i'm going to assume it has to do with this king of pentacles and this um other this feminine energy um because i see the king of cups walking away to find fulfillment in life um i think maybe they have given up on this love offer okay so we have the king of cups the eight of cups out here the ace of cups the nine of pentacles and the four of swords out here this means that someone is going through some type of emotional ascension spiritual ascension and even a physical ascension right so someone is coming out of a state of lust superficiality materialism and things like that and finding true fulfillment in life basically someone is learning how to balance their life especially their finances so, so this could have been like a king of cups that spent recklessly maybe even on women and things like that um so he is coming out of this state of mind and taking a little bit more charge of his life planning on how to move about and things like that someone is think uh acting from a higher place now in their life they're taking charge of their life basically being more being a little bit more responsible in life next we have the uh four of wands out here the ace of swords the two of cups the king of pentacles and the temperance card out here this is a beautiful progression um uh, so there is a union that's supposed to come into being and this is only going to come into being after this person takes charge of their life and speaks the truth to you so someone may want to apologize to you because they have found out that you two are meant to be together or you two are meant to work together someone is working on their character they're working working on balancing their mental and their emotional so this could be someone that was living in some type of unhealthy state of being before but they are working on themselves this is someone that is being divinely guided to you right to make things right to speak their truth to seal to calmer waters with you things of that nature we have the uh, page of cups out here the five of swords the ten of cups the magician and the page of pentacles and this is letting me know that the truth has been exposed to this person whoever it is more than likely this king of pentacles and this king of cups the truth has been revealed to both of these people about who you really are the truth right um there is some type of message coming in as well there's some type of email text message voicemail phone call dm something coming in that's going to be telling you about some type of betrayal that took place in the past it's going to clear up some things about you there could have been a family that was working together to cause you some type of loss and this is something someone is going to be clarifying to you this king of cups and this king of pentacles could have been friends in the past um but maybe one of them betrayed the other person um that's going to be revealed to you as well um this uh family may have been doing some type of magic behind the scenes to block your forward movement and this is what someone wants to talk to you about um magic meaning as far as mental illusions mental work and things like that playing with people mental man manipulations and things like that um this someone is wanting to build a family with you because they know that you two will have the necessary skills and tools to work together in order to manifest something beautiful in life um for one another this is going to be like an equal give and take relationship where you'll be taking care of each other um so you know uh this is like you wake up and make your uh partner a, a tea coffee or something like that when they aren't feeling well you make them some soup uh things like that right taking care of each other basically now we have the tower out here we have the uh um two of wands 
we have the death card out here the six of pentacles and the justice card out here um and this it just shows you exactly what is going on uh kind of straightforward there's a change going in place a sudden change and someone was not expecting this it says someone was living under some type of illusion uh, just believing what everyone was telling them and then there was a big revelation like a, something was revealed to them someone fell from grace basically so there could have been another feminine character in here causing some type of illusion and they are falling from grace. The truth is being exposed about someone's true character. Whoever was doing all of this trickery, the truth has been revealed about that character and they are being seen for exactly who they are. They are going through some type of ending as well, a change. Uh, so they'll no longer be able to fool people. People are seeing this person for exactly who they are and may be separating themselves from this feminine character because of all of the nonsense and chaos that they cause all this time. So this is like someone that was possibly working from behind the scenes to cause some type of illusion and destruction to prevent two people from coming together, basically. Um, so now we have the destroyer card uh, followed by the six of pentacles, which means that there is someone in here that wants to give to someone. There's someone living in poverty and maybe needing assistance. Uh, so someone is going to be reaching out to give to you or there could be some type of financial payout coming from out coming from an institution uh, to balance something out, which is why the justice card is out here. So this is like a financial payout. So there may be some type of meeting going on as well about you. Um, that has to do with things that people did in the background to steal from you, basically, right? So all of this is going to kind of come together at the end um you are not showing up on the board so you took yourself out of this situation is what i'm assuming because you i'm not seeing you on here whether you're a masculine energy or a feminine energy i don't see you on here i see that you are kind of out living your life maybe working on your future uh building a new life for yourself and not really focus on what's going on but there is some type of change going on behind the scenes so as a recap Someone is, is experiencing a tower due to a revelation of someone's true character um, that they were interested in having some type of marriage with, but they are still interested. But I think they're understanding that they have to walk away because it's just not um, possible in their mind. This is what they're believing, right? And this is because the truth um, has been revealed about someone's uh, morals. Uh, so someone could have painted you out to be someone reckless in every way, shape, and form, but they're seeing that you are someone that is authentic, very genuine, compassionate, someone that takes very care of them, very good care of themselves and things like that. Someone may have said that you were a trickster and things like that. You were egotistical or narcissist, but they're finding out the truth that it is not. You may have just left the situation to save yourself some peace, uh, save your heart, you know, block some uh, uh, negativity and toxicity out of your life and things like that. Um, the fact that this truth is being reviewed is leading or uh, is causing some type of ending for the people that were working together. And it's not just one person, it's a group of people that could have been a family involved in here. And this all had to do with blocking a law of connection between two people and things of that nature. Someone wants to come in, give you a financial gift, financial opportunity to give you the chance to take charge of your life and move forward. Someone knows that you are skilled, you're a great business person, but you may not have the finances to take charge of your life and move forward. So this financial gift that they're going to give you is going to put you in a beautiful energy um, so that you can live a beautiful and independent life um, of your, for yourself, right? So you have some type of inheritance coming in that is something being given to you by spirit. So this balance being brought into your life is going to help you manifest a new reality for yourself, a new life, um, help you stay a little bit more calm in life. Uh, someone is also seeing you as a, someone that's very temper, mild manner. Uh, you don't really react to things that people, other people do. People may, be, people may like make efforts to get reactions out of you, do like no, nonsense and things like that to get a reaction out of you, but they don't get the reaction that they want out of you. So someone is seeing you as someone that is mild manner, very temper, uh, very well behaved and things again. Like I'm sorry to put it that way because we don't live our lives uh, um, caring if people see us as well behaved, but I couldn't find any other terminology to use. Um, but yes, so this new energy is going to help you plan a little bit more better for your life, right? 
Uh, you'll be someone that's a little bit more strategic, know where your life is heading. Um, you know, just you'll be healed overall. So each and every person in here is going through some type of healing in their own way, even though even the ones that are experiencing towers and endings, they are healing in their own ways. They may not realize that at the moment, but that is exactly what is going on. So anyways, that is Cherie. I will see you in the next one. Thank you for watching. Goodbye for now.